r slash ask reddit, what's something that's perfectly legal to do, but you're still a dick for doing it. Deleted. Cutting in line. Recently in a long TSA line and a lady just walks up to me and tries to cut. I tell her nope and point to the end of the line way back there. She says oh really? I can't see well then cut someone else behind me. That was a new excuse I hadn't heard. Playing music slash videos in public without headphones. Even more so on public transport. ID like to add having conversations on speakerphone in public after having just heard someone taking a dump, describing it and flushing it. I'm assuming he didn't know this was being broadcast to the entire train but who knows. Not flushing the toilet. How about not washing your hands after going to the bathroom, you nasty bastard. Edit, some people have correctly stated that you should probably be washing your hands before you go to the bathroom as well. I'll add to that, not wiping the toilet seat when you've missed. It's not like the next person can leave the mess they walked into because then they'll be blamed by the person after them. I don't know what worse this or the obvious need to do the courtesy flush lol. Spoiling the ending of movies slash books intentionally for others. Turning the light out in a public bathroom while people are in the stalls. I have never forgiven the girl who told me that, Harry Potter spoiler alert for those living under a rock, and GT, Dumbledore died, and LT. I was on page 10. Oh, this reminds of me of the ending of Infinity War back in the time the MCU was good, I had to dodge the ending for 3 long and agonizing months, got spoiled by my own father. Talking at someone who's obviously not interested in the conversation and continuing it way too long. I share a space at work with this girl and the amount of times I just have to eat the ear beating is crazy. Parking your car in two spots. Not even two spots. Like even if someone parks on the line and you can barely squeeze in and then they leave and you look like you parked shit dash backslash underscore. Cutting in line. It's technically not against the law, but it's a universally recognized act of disrespect to those who've been waiting their turn. This behavior showcases a blatant disregard for fairness and patience, earning the cutter well-deserved ire and judgment from bystanders. I think cutting in line would be a totally legitimate reason for the people working there to deny service and trespass somebody though. Then they're trespassing. Buying out a product with the sole intent to resell at inflated pricing. Covered toilet paper syndrome. How have I never thought of this? Not to strangers, but when I was a young monster, I could see it being hilarious to the right target. Farting in an elevator. It's my payback for shitty noisy neighbors. Deleted. $700 is jump change. My latest psoriasis med cost $14,000. The one before that cost $18,000. I have a patient assistance program to pay the copays, but seriously, how the hell can people actually afford this? Not returning your shopping cart. I really like Aldi's solution, 25 and every cart makes it back. I don't think I've ever seen a cart left in the parking lot, and I bet someone would happily nab the extra quarter if someone does leave a cart. I always take flack for this one. Destination weddings. Guilting people into attending something and spending a ridiculous amount of money. Might as well just say only the wealthy friends are invited. I thought destination weddings were a passive aggressive way of trying trying to keep people from coming to the wedding that you know would be upset if they didn't get an invitation. Taking a parking spot someone shoveled out. I hate restrooms with motion activated lights for this reason. You have to know there will be consequences though. In Boston this is a legitimate reason to commit homicide. Judge, did you kill this man? Defendant, yes. He took the parking space I spent all morning shoveling out. Judge, case dismissed. Inching in as the shoveling is ongoing. I'll put the snow back, then pour water on it to freeze it. Listening to music over loudspeakers in public. Buying a hospital slash pharmaceutical business or health insurance business and then jacking prices. Not picking up your dog poop. This is illegal in a lot of places. Bad hygiene. Government corruption apparently. Entering a train before people can get off. Leaving your spouse who has a terminal diagnosis. And taking all the money, apparently. If I had 6 months to live I would encourage my spouse to take all the money before the doctors did. I can't imagine the thought process that leads to this, it's a situation I've been through and the thought of leaving never entered my mind, no matter how tough things got. Women who are diagnosed with cancer or other serious conditions are often told to expect their husbands to walk out and plan accordingly. It's sad. Creating legislation tailored to benefit people who send you donations. Citizens United was a mistake. 
posting variations on this same question over and over again. What's something that's not forbidden, but totally sucks for everyone else? Every day, all day. I've left several subs because I'm tired of the same shit. Being rude to staff. I work at a small local Irish pub and the owner fully expects us to give any rudeness right back to the customer 2x. The looks I've gotten from some of the Karens are absolutely priceless. See also, elevators. Microwave your sardine sandwich in the office. Eating a sardine sandwich in the office. Stealing the parking spot someone else was clearly waiting for. Cheating. Bidding one more dollar than the person before you on the price is right. I love when it's not the final bidder, though, and then the last bidder does them dirty in the same way and goes one more dollar. No. It's part of the game. The people who have been there longer get to bid last. It's an intentional advantage for them. Isn't that just how you play the game? Squat in a stranger's house in NYC. Squatting is moving into a stranger's unoccupied home without permission. By law, they must be treated as a legal tenant and be provided with electricity, water, and functioning services or else they can sue. You must also go through the courts to remove them which can take years. Speakerphone in public. As much as people shit on New Yorkers for being rude, they tend to be really good at letting people get off first on the subway in my experience. Bluetooth calls in your car so loud everyone in the lanes next to you can hear. Cutting people off in traffic because you're in a hurry. Using your wealth to get loans to buy companies, strip them or their wealth, assign that debt and a ton of other debt to it, screw their employees and customers and walk away charging huge fees for the service. Firing a sales guy between the period when he closed a bunch of business and actually paying him the commission. Oh, it's a shame you weren't still employed with us. The comp plan states you have to be employed to get the commission payment. Staring into someone's window and throwing up on yourself. That is oddly specific. Not getting in the slow lane on the highway. If you're getting passed on the right then you are the traffic. In some states they're ticketing people for that. I wish California would do that. Parking your oversized work truck on a residential road bonus points if you are right by the entrance of the neighborhood so cars have to take turns going around your truck. Edit, corrected auto corrects. Scalping, flipping property without improving, mass buying property to rent. I'm a big guy, so when people try this I just keep getting off. If they get bumped, then maybe they'll learn. Anti-homeless ass texture. Flicking a cigarette out of your goddamn car. To be fair, this would be considered littering and hence illegal. Or at the very least, it should be that way. Licking your thumb before counting your money. Why is this a thing? Genuine question, what does licking your thumb do to help the counting process? It's okay, I usually get off while the train is moving. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.